was just passing through with my girlfriend Myrtle, making the rest of the traffic look like a turtle. Got north of the line, it was marked with a sign that said Ohio. We didn't know what that really meant, except for the fact that's where my uncle spent some time tasting wine down on the steps of the State House garage. It had just been a long drive from Myrtle Beach, and I was listening to every station I could reach, because the Myrtle that was sitting next to me, she don't talk much. I kept driving north on 71, there's a radio crackle, and I said, hun, why don't you get some of that boogie that's good and fun? She switched her twinkie from left to right and punched every dad burn button inside. So we heard the strains of a familiar, famous old tune. Ain't heard it since 1965. It had a kind of a disco beat, and the words were weird, but really neat. Neither Myrtle or me knew exactly what they meant. The singers were singing, hang on, Woody, and with a mouth full of Twinkie, Myrtle said, goody, they don't even know what the right words to that really are. The music went, hang on, Woody, hang on, and Myrtle looked at me with a yawn and said, what kind of a kooky station are we listening to? Well, all the club books said W Beans or WBNS, whatever that means, but I was really grooving to the disco. I got my automatic transmission so I can tap my left foot. I got carried away with the charm of the thing. Only Woody I know pecks on trees in the spring. Well, why would they change those words to be about a bunch of pecking birds? Now, even Myrtle, who by now was a chew and a gum, says, well, where did this Woody thing come from? Whatever happened to good old hang on Snoopy? Never said Myrtle was real bright. The two guys came on named Jack and Dick. Neither one of them was very slick, but they were doing a lot of talking about some Buckeyes and Bo and Woody and Wolverines and W Beans. They sure are excited about some big game, and Jack says, well, Dick, ain't it a shame that poor Bo won't have no job after November? And Dick said, yeah, boy. We got in Columbus and traffic slowed down. I got the feeling that there's a real weird town that just about everything was painted scarlet and gray. Cars, trucks, signs, poles, fences, sheep. Gray has always been Myrtle's favorite color. I looked out the windshield and had to look twice, because right in line through my fuzzy dice with a string of bumper stickers my eyeballs couldn't believe. They said Woody beat Bo and Bucks beat Blue and we're number one over you know who and a few other things that I probably better not mention. Now I slowed down to about 65 and W Beans is playing more jive, something about fight the team and I'm beginning to believe them. Cause a car that was painted yellow and blue passed the guy behind me in a Subaru and I had a feeling there was gonna be some kind of scene. As the guy he passed, letting me out of the way, I saw his eyes turn scarlet and his face turn gray. He put the hammer down right to the board. He found a hole and shot right through, and he caught that Subaru that was yellow and blue and proceeded to reline the guy's rear end. Really remodeled him, license plate and all. I called the police on my trusted CB and said, now this ain't got nothing to do with me, but I just saw a violent act of aggression and described in detail what that crazy nut did. The buzz answered nice and thanked me for my trouble, and then I said, I really hate to bust your bubble, but you must not be from around these parts. He said, November is open season on Wolverines, so we don't want that kind around here. On the radio, did just said, yeah, boy. And I'm really thinking hard about the crazy scenes and about Jack and Nick on W Beans, and we started really rolling westward toward Moline. Myrtle's folks live there. Talk about confusion, old Myrtle started yelping and Jack and Dick on W Beans weren't helping because Jack kept saying, we're really going to kill them. We figured if they were talking about killing Wolverines, they might miss hit one of us. I do an 85 when I saw lights flashing, when I stopped, old Smokey came dashing up to me and said, sir, where in blazes are you flying to? Police don't say, sir, where I come from. I told him we were leaving in an awful big hurry and Myrtle asked if Wolverines were big, mean, and furry and he just scratched his head like he didn't comprehend. I said, there's belligerence around me that I can't fathom. Please, officer, I want my van back onto the Macadam. I feel like it's my best interest to get the heck out of here. 